Who is stalking me reading for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Thank you for all your likes, subscribes, and shares. And let's see what's... I, I, you know, I, I'm getting a lot more with you, Cancer, than three. But I'm only going to pull the main three energies. But I feel like you've got, like, way more than three people stalking you right now. So... Let's just pull the main three energies here. What do we got? Thoughts. You're in someone's thoughts. We got main man. There is a main man here. Paying awfully, an awful lot of attention to you. And then we have someone in despair. All three of these people are watching you. One of them might be in jail. Okay. Let's see. I pre-shuffled my cards. So let's see what this person who is possibly thinking about you. You're on their mind. These people are all watching your social, social media, I feel like. So be aware of that. And I feel like they're all masculine energies. They could be women. I'm just saying what it feels like is all masculine energy here. What do we got here? This could possibly be a work situation. Ooh. Somebody's thinking about giving you a raise, I think. This is the main guy. This is this is your main person. Could be a queen of wands, which is very Leo Sagittarius. And then we got the three of cups on the on at the end here. This person watches you. Like an outsider. Okay, 32. They could be 32 years old. They're very puzzled about how you do things because they're in despair. They don't understand how you do what you do. They pay a lot of attention to you, almost like a student would pay attention to a teacher. So I do feel like this, this energy is younger than you, whoever you are. The second one is your main squeeze, okay? This is a very passionate connection. Could be with the Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. And it is what you want in a, in a, in a connection, okay? We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got all the signs, okay? Mostly air and pentacles. But yeah, this first one is a work situation. The second one is your main squeeze. And the third one is somebody, I think, is just lust, either lusting after you or there's somebody who looks up to you. Let's see. Spirit, what's the three of presents and ten of presents about? That is the three and ten of pentacles. What is that about? Why? Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm feeling a raise, a promotion here of some kind. Maybe a family situation. Somebody's making a judgment and they're coming in with... The, wow. So whoever this, this person is thinking about you, they're thinking about a family. And... Working together. And they're going to come in and tell you about this really soon. Because they've made that judgment call to move forward. Let's see. Yeah. Significant other is spying on you guys. 
and this is a three-party situation. So, all around energy. Here is the Three of Swords. So somebody here is definitely heartbroken. It might be this main male here. Okay. We've got someone who is in love here. And they just got played. Okay, it could be you, Cancer. I don't know which one, you know, I mean, it, you could be the one that just got played by this main male. All right. Pig hour resonates. And this person here thinks that whatever you've gone through, you earned it. Because you put, either you or they put you in a three-party situation. So, this person has earned. Oh, gosh. Having other people talking in my background here. It's kind of like talking in my backswing, backswing when I'm playing golf. Don't do that. <laughs> I got. I gotta look at these for a minute, guys. Sorry, I'm. I'm sitting here during the day. I live in an apartment complex, and everybody's out having a good time today, despite me really not good weather. Um, this person is really, really bummed out about this three-party situation. They feel like it's fair, though. They feel like it's it's definitely a fair exchange of energy. Let's see what that means. What is with this person with the, who has their thoughts going about cancer and they're about to make a judgment in their finances? This could be a windfall. This could be a judge of something. Eight of Wands, Judgment. What is that? Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, wow. That really took a turn with those two cards. Pisces on the bottom. Scorpio here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something is transforming here. From thoughts to reality. They look at you as their soulmate, period. And I'm feeling like, ah, guys, I don't know if I can finish this reading. I might have to finish it later. I'll finish up what I got here and then and then I think I'm going to call it a day because everybody's having a party. It's Saturday night and I can't get around that. And with as serious as this is right here, I think somebody lost a soulmate here. I mean, lost as in they died. This is a widower. So... This is only going to be for a few of you, but this person sees you the same way that they, whoever they lost, they see you the same way, Cancer, as to whatever it was and whoever it was they lost. They see you as a soulmate. See you as wife or husband material with equal give and take. They're ready to, to make an offer to you to transform your relationship into something more meaningful and more beautiful. That's very nice. All right, let's see what the main man, I think, I think it might be quiet enough right now so we can get this reading out of the way. 
Six of Swords and Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands. I feel like this is saying here today, gone tomorrow. As far as as far as uh, this person's concerned, they've moved on to a situation that was going to be more abundant for them. This person is is really really in, only interested in in material gain, and they'll go as far as they need to go to get it. All right. Yeah, so this person is still spying on you, though. They're still watching you, even though they might have just played a game with you, like had sex with you and bolted, which is how I'm feeling that. They thought you were hot. They spied on you, and they got what they wanted, and then they moved on to find their Ten of Pentacles. That's the whole story from that. Then we have this despair person here who's watching you as a third party outsider. Oh wow, two of them. You could be dealing with the Pisces. And they feel stuck. They feel like, yeah, there's, there's Libra. 44, yeah. wow. They think you're very attractive, but they're definitely stuck in their head about an offer they wanna make. They're not sure if they wanna make that offer or not. Could be a mother, just saying. Could be a mother that is in despair. Let's see what's going on here. Because there's definitely three of swords energy here. And it could be a Pisces. Because Pisces came up <laughs> twice in one in one right after another. Intuition and secrets. This person is using their intuition, but they're still keeping secrets from you. For some reason. Dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Self-indulgence, focusing on self-worth, and this is done. You are ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. Okay, with this person, be lighthearted. Find out, things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So this is, a tra this is a transformation of some kind of relationship that you might have with somebody that you work with. And you remind them of somebody that they were married to that is no longer here. The second person is doing work. They're doing the shadow work. They're learning how to appreciate themselves as well as others. And they're healing this connection. This could also be you. I mean, doing the same thing. And this person's in despair because this relationship is over. There are no second chances. It's time to grow and transform their life. So... I think this person knows that, and that's why they're in despair. They they found out the truth after a few months of waiting. I mean, this is three three of cups and king of needles here, king king of swords, and then we got the three of cups and the six of pentacles here. And that tells me that they were an outsider looking in. They never even had a chance here. Not even if they wanted to. So they, they, they were fair to you and to themselves. And they bowed out gracefully. 
kept their secrets and moved on and counted on their intuition to guide them because there's a lot of things this person doesn't know about. Spirit says it's over, whatever it is. And I think this person knows that. She sees, she, I don't know why I said that, but he sees or she sees everything the other one is doing. She sees the truth of the situation that it was kind of not fair because there's secrets here. So they've decided to end it. It's over. It's done. Okay. Oh, what other deck was I using? Oh, yeah. We're going to use the uh, Hidden Realms. I love this deck. Always gives you a little insight onto the whole reading. Oh, you know what? I didn't pull cards for you, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you. Courthouse, marriage. Are you planning to get married? Because that's what it looks like. It looks like you're getting married. Yep, there's the Queen of Pentacles. That's my wife card. That's where you're at right now, the Queen of Pentacles. Which means that your money's looking good, your life's looking good, everything's looking good. There's the lovers again. Like I said, could be dealing with the Gemini here. But you have gotten crystal clear about what it is you truly want. You want to be the boss. It looks like you're going to get your wish, Cancer. It really does. It looks like you're going to be the boss. You're definitely going into some kind of union here. I don't know if that's with a significant other or if it's with a boss. It could be. Because I do believe this person here is a boss. Confused. Ooh. And we get the Emperor choice. So, Cancer. Feel like you got ghosted here by a lover. Left you in the Three of Swords energy. Might have been a boss that left you confused and in the Five of Pentacles energy. I don't think they took your money, but I think that they left you out. Because on one hand, you're feeling love, you're feeling compassion, you're feeling joy. You're ready to move on with the next chapter. And the next minute, you feel confused and left out. Yep, there's Scorpio again, Virgo. This, <laughs> this is going to be your move, Cancer. This is going to be your move. Because the only reason why you feel stuck... Is because you're not allowing something that you know in your heart of hearts. It's a rebirth. A death and a rebirth of something here that's very, very important to you. And I do feel like that's love. See how that light is lighting up on the on, on that guy's chest. No, I don't want to say that. Everybody's dealing with that way too much these days. This could be the death of someone close to you. And that's why you're feeling confused and left out. 
might be this person here. That's why there's no second chance. This person has died, has, has, feels like they've died with their secrets. And this person may even be connected to this person. Okay. I don't know. Take how it resonates. Okay, Cancer? Let's see what we're going to get for the Hidden Realms for you. See what comes out. Okay, we got Map, map Maker of Destiny. Good choice for this one. I didn't choose it, but okay. This is always an ally, I think. So it's that's a good card to get. Okay. It's an ally and a challenger, my bad. Authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. Okay, this says, when the map maker of destiny appears, it's a sign that you've been given an opportunity to transform fate into destiny. At birth, each human being is given a unique map with myriad paths that intersect with one another. Your map of destiny shows where the places you're meant to visit, places where you will be challenged to evolve into the highest aspects of the self. So a proverbial death and rebirth. Remember that you're a spark of the divine come to earth to experience itself in human form. As such, your path is unique. It's also somewhat preordained. And fate represents the events in your life in which were meant to help you that you can't change. Fate is transformed into destiny according to how you respond to your circumstances. Destiny offers you the ability to make great opportunities out of fated experience. So free will and choice are possible and at certain times on your map. Now is one of those times. You're faced with a relationship or circumstance brought to you by fate. How you respond will lead into your perfect destiny. Your ally may assume the form of a soulmate, come to heal your heart and be your companion. Perhaps your challenger makes you face the things within you that must change in order for you to express your highest good. Maybe fate brings you an ally in the form of, wonderful, of a wonderful new project or the challenger in the form of a failed business. No matter which form they take, all are perfect expressions of fate inviting you into your destiny. Pay attention as your map unfolds now and remember that fate makes the map, but destiny is determined in which the manner you engage your journey. That's all I have for you this time, Cancer. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, stay safe. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll see you later. Bye for now.